to the show. What's going on? Welcome, everybody. Uh, and for those of you who are watching, who are watching with Diablo, uh, thank you for coming back. Uh, it is, uh, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun for people who are joining us from YouTube. We've actually been live for almost four hours already, so we are just coming back. And now it is time to get to everybody's favorite part, which is building a PC. So for folks who don't know what's happening, today we're going to be building in the Corsair 4000D, which is, you know, no big deal. But... What is truly amazing is the fact that we are going to be building with brand new Corsair, uh, iLink, sorry, Corsair's brand new iLink system. So uh, the iLink system is their new one, basically there's one cable to control it all. Uh, we're going to see the big difference between what used to be doing a Corsair build and now what doing a Corsair build looks like. Um, and you'll, I mean, even showing you with this RGB version of the Corsair 4000D Airflow, how much simpler hopefully builds will actually be. Um, and how well their cable management is truly dead because there's not enough cables to basically manage. And the thing that's different about this versus like the Lee and Lee and this versus the um, uh, thermal take is that this isn't just for fans, it's for the entire ecosystem. Uh, you know, AIOs, it'll be for water cooling components, it'll be for uh, fans, it'll be for a bunch of different things, including PSUs. So you only have a single cable and then everything is controlled by a single puck and those things are powered and everything. So it's actually pretty cool. So very, very excited about it. Igor, thank you very much for the sub as well. Big, big, big mama Yana. Thank you very much for the sub as well. Uh, and you guys are crushing already. Roby, the manual for the iLink doesn't say that the USB port in the IO is for. Does that operate as a hub without needing the extra hub? The manual isn't on the website yet. Well, we will see today, right? Or I don't know, we'll have to check it out. Um, and so we'll have to see how it goes. <clears throat> Yeah, there's no ca yeah, there's no cable nest for the uh, for the uh, for IQ or anything like that. I'm actually really excited to see how this whole thing is going to come together. And then of course, then we have the usual uh, list of uh, giveaways that we're going to be doing today. Um, so we have uh, the we have a PC giveaway that is basically for the month of July and August. We didn't do enough streaming in before, so we're going to do it for July and August. Uh, it may be this build. I'm trying to see if Corsair will send me replacement, so we might actually do this build as a giveaway, which is 7800X3D and a 4070Ti. Um, we also have, if we get uh, uh, level five hype train, we'll give away a $25 new A gift card. If we get 250 likes on the YouTube video, we'll give away a $25 new A gift card. And then lastly, uh, if we get, um, if we start filling up the bars down there, like the for kick and everything else, uh, then we'll also give away those bonuses as well. So lots of giveaways that are happening over the course of today. Now, if you want to get in on the PC giveaway, uh, all you got to do is head over to twitch.tv slash Robitech, drop your free Prime sub. Uh, that gets you a free entry in. Uh, if you subscribe at tier one, you get two, uh, three entries. T tier three, uh, tier three, two, you get five. Tier three, you get ten. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. Now, if you subscribe on Kick, Discord, and on Twitch, your entries basically triple, um, and that's the way it works. It's how we basically fund all these giveaways and all that sort of fun. That's why I, I take pretty much everything I do for Twitch, and it goes right into basically funding giveaways for the most part. So, that is the deal. That's the one. Now we do have. Some community winners. Uh, Blondie, do you want to go and send me the details on my phone and I can go to Baba Ganoush? <laughs> yes, I love it when Baba Ganoush uh, does anything because I just like saying his name. And we're like, we're already uh, only one thing away from hitting uh, the next thing. So one more, uh, just 100 bits or whatever it was, and we'll, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll hit that hype train. And there it is right now, or Chaos resubscribing tier one, 23 months, Sergeant Nobody also doing it, and Hype Train is officially going. Now Riddick is like, dang it, I gave the 10 subs earlier. Um, so, uh, uh, Blondie, if you want to send me the details on here, Riddick, never mind. He's like, I'll just drop 10 subs now. Thank you, Riddick. Uh, if you want to send me the information uh, for the winners, I will go ahead and uh, do the announcements for the community winners because we have some really great community stuff. By the way, guys, can we give a huge shout out to Blondie, who has been doing such a good job of competitions and stuff happening over at discord.gg slash RubyTech. We just finished the cable management one. Uh, we did one with Show Us Your Rig, and she has been doing so much. So head over to discord.gg slash RubyTech because it is a great opportunity to win some really cool loot but at the same time just make friends and all that sort of stuff as well so blondie's awesome uh yeah she's been yeah she busts her tail at the streams she busts her tail even though she's been a little cranky today she's been a little cranky cranky with me but um she uh you know she's uh she's always awesome 
Yeah, and there it is, $50 gift card already unlocked. Let me, uh, let me update that um, and go from there. She's gonna, she's gonna say she wasn't cranky here in a minute. <laughs> I knew that, I knew she was gonna say something. Oh, what was that? I thought I saw something about the Activision Blizzard. Oh, I guess I just missed it. Um, okay, stream, login. Uh, uh, and then we'll go here. Oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, geez. Guys, I just realized. Hold on. Let's see if he sent it. He probably did. Sean, did you send it? Where is... Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. I got to update one thing, guys. Open. Cool. Uh, let me do this. Okay, let me uh, fix something real quick. You guys are gonna see it update. So let's, why, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and talk about parts list. This is not the right one. We're gonna make it the right one here in a minute. Um, so one second, you guys are gonna see the new parts. Just replace it in just a moment. By the way, huge shout out to, there it is right there. And by the way, can we just give a shout out to Sean who's been doing such a killer job with uh, these parts list graphics and stuff like that. Um, there it is right there, the Corsair IQ. So what are we gonna put in today's build? We're gonna be doing a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. We're gonna be doing the Asus Tough Gaming X670E Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, the Asus Tough NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti. Uh, the SSD, we're gonna use the WD Black two terabyte NVMe SSD. Um, we're gonna be using Kingston Fury, 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer. Corsair 4000D. Uh, Airflow, uh, we've got the Corsair IQ H, uh, Link H100i plus their Q uh, X120 fans. And then we've got the Corsair RMX 750X Shift Series. So should be, uh, should be a very, very cool, very, very nice parts list and all that sort of stuff. And again, huge shout out to Sean as we've been bringing up and upping our game uh, and just making streams better and better. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, no court. Yeah, I didn't actually, you know, it's funny. I could have used Corsair RAM, but I did not. So let me see what she said. Okay, so community challenge winners were Azula and Igor. Uh, and then we have a new competition that just popped up. So congratulations. Uh, the congratulations to Azula and Igor for winning the community challenge. And then uh, our new competition is show us your pets. Show us your pet. So that's going to be coming up from here uh, as well. So you guys, are you guys really wanting me to just, I don't think I have any expo. Let me go look. Let me go see. Let me go see if I have some expo. Never mind, because then we have to change the graphic and everything. It's, it's, it's Kingston. They got everything else. They got everything else. <laughs> and we have, to, and guys, we have to hit level five. So we have to finish level five. We're at, we're close. We're at 21%. We got to get level five finished out. So let me, did we, oh, you know what, did I, oh, you know what, I messed this up. We were at 51, so let me go fix this. The parts list, I have to put the thing in. Okay, hold on one sec, I have to put this stuff in, so. Uh, I'm learning stuff, because if I don't do this, then it will, the, it'll screw up the whole thing. Okay, so we'll just make them way smaller here on this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I will update the Streamlabs thing because we are, I have it all right here. Looking at our analytics, we are at 55. Okay, all widgets, subscriber goal. Where is it? There it is. So we'll do, end and we're at a hundred dollar new gift card we need a hundred we're at 55 zero uh seven twelve all right there we go updated and fixed okay fixed okay cool <clears throat> Whew, okay um so uh yeah we'll, we'll do expo and all that sort of stuff as well uh guys so don't forget we're almost there we just about to hit that level five hype train. We're in level five. We got to finish it to unlock that $25 new A gift card. Can be a Sama. Thank you very much for the giveaway uh, for the sub as well. We're getting closer. 
So uh, anyway, updated, updated, updated. I think I've got everything going. Uh, we've announced our winner, and then Blondie said that she's super cranky, and please, she needs hugs. So if you guys could do a hashtag hug Blondie, that'd be great, because then maybe she'll get out of her sour mood and everything will be going well. Kurosaki, yes. I only took, guys, I was only gone for a week. I did a stream. I did the, I, the last one I did was a Corsair. I did the, uh, the last of a stream where we did the AMD Advantage system, um, and then we went from there. Um, and that was it. So I only I only was gone a week. So I'm back. And now, well, like we've been streaming for like four hours. But yeah, send hugs to Blondie. That's how I take care of Blondie. Going from there, Riddick doing wow. Okay, never mind. Riddick's just dropping subs like it's hot. Okay, so there we go. Level five hype train done, uh, and on our way towards the hundred dollar new A gift card. Uh, okay, let's get started because uh, I know that's what you guys are excited about. Let's start building and let's see how this goes. First thing I got to do, I want to show you what we're fixing here. So here it is, side camera. Here's what we're fixing. So this is, I wanted, I chose this case specifically because this is the RGB version of the, of the, uh, of the Corsair 4000D Airflow. So it's the RGB one. He doesn't have to change it for this. I wanted to show you what we were dealing with before. So we, this is the cables that we were dealing with before. So we have all of these in here. And this is, it's, it's got three uh, MO120 Elite fans, I think is what's in it or something like that. So we're gonna take these fans out and we're gonna start actually replacing all of this stuff with the new iLink uh, materials. So I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Here's the other side. And hopefully we're gonna make this, this is gonna look a whole lot simpler. Hey, Electric Yoshi, thank you for the sub. Uh, and there we go, okay. Uh, here we can do this while we're at it though. Let's do it, let's do this while we're at it. The internal one. Woo a little internal peel. All right, so we got that out of the way. Let us, okay, so here's what we had in the back here. So we got this, this hub and all of these cables that we're gonna be able to take out right now because we do not need them. So we're gonna start undoing this and we're gonna see how much simpler this whole process becomes we go to the iLink system. So <clears throat> is the whole pope. And there it is, guys, level five. How are we doing likes on YouTube? Because I don't want that, I don't want that to die either. So if we can head over to youtube.com slash rubytechlive and hit that thumbs up, that would be amazing and get that finished out. Yeah, goodbye cables, Araxinus, exactly. 42 of 250. There's already 232 people here, so we could actually knock that out pretty dang quick. Okay, so look, we got, I mean, it's, it's not even just one. There's this whole little mini hub down here too. Like we got hubs everywhere. So we shouldn't need any of this. I'm gonna have to do some, uh, some, cable, some cable work. Okay, there we go. There's that. Uh, 79, 78, you just literally just finished. What, what is Windows, what was buggy about it, Mr. Jigs? Cause I, I haven't noticed any of that stuff. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so here's, these are the cables I do need. That's all the stuff from here. The rest of this is what used to be the nightmare that was Corsair cabling. This is all stuff I do not need anymore. I shouldn't need. So there we go, put this out. Is that really how much they are? They're 50 bucks a fan? Nah, that's a lot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's, I might have to keep this, I might keep the hub in here because, okay, I'm gonna keep the hub in here because, well, it's kind of a pain. But I'm gonna, this, well, no, I don't want the hub because it's now it's extra cables I don't have to worry about. Okay, so there's this, I don't need this. These are all the cables, guys, all, look at all these cables I'm just ripping out of the system that I hopefully, shouldn't need anymore. So, see here. I'm trying to think of the best way to get rid of this hub. Okay, so let's let's get rid of this. Is it still free is what free? Ugh. This is Sophie's choice of trying to get rid of, okay, I think this one I'm gonna be able to get. I don't know. Got some good grip on it. 
Okay, one gone. One hub gone. We are down to only two. Uh, one, we got one more hub to get rid of. We're gonna we're gonna make this simpler. That's the hope, right? Okay, so there's one hub out, out of the way, squared. Okay, let's get this other one done. Ugh. Okay, two hubs gone. Two hubs gone. We're now hubless here. I'm gonna remove the sticky from this because it's just gonna be a nightmare. Thank you very much, guys, for all the support for the hype train. You guys are rock stars. Really do appreciate it. Okay, yes, achievement unlocked. I got the hubs out. But I want this to go, like, I want this to be the right kind of story, right? Like, you want, yeah, there we go. I just need this not to be sticky. I'm happy when it's not sticky. Ugh. <laughs> nice, Igor. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's all out now. I don't know what to do with this. Like, I'm like, I guess I'll just stick it in this drawer in here. All the other junk. All right, so we got that out. Now is the time to get rid of the other so this is what we this is what we've accomplished so far we just got a lot of we got a lot of a lot of cables that we're ripping out because we shouldn't need them anymore okay next up to remove the front fans and then we will put in the new iLink fans here we go And guys, don't worry, we have all of the stuff pre-installed so we'll be able to check what thermals are like and all that sort of stuff as well, which is gonna be good. So we're not gonna be... There we go. Getting more here. Getting all those fans out. This, hopefully this is like, I don't even have to worry about I don't even have to worry about cables for these fans. Like when I do this, like they're all supposed to clip together. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay, we are back. There we go, one more. One more fan, okay, so. There's all the fans out. There we go. And there we go. There are, now we have less, less, this is what we have now for cables. That's it, that's where we're at now. That's what, that, remember, that was all Corsair that we were dealing with before and we're now switching to Corsair again. But this is what our fan situation looks like now. No, apparently I knocked my, my mic down, okay. So all we, this is, let's start looking at the new stuff. So the first section of this is here. This is our first section. Let's go to top down. These are the new fans. So these are the new ones from Corsair. So let's see how these look. So this is what you would get if you bought a three pack. It's not in a square anymore. Now it's in like a, a rectangle box. Okay, there it is. Now 
And look, they're already all connected together. So you got your system hub, and then you have your one, your fan cable. Let's see what else is in this. So we got fan stuff, uh, some adapter things, and then a power. I don't know what that's for. And then some stick, uh, and then this is for putting your fan, this is for your hub. So it looks like it's got a USB. And then again, the connections, the way this essentially works is you could just pull these apart. And this is how they connect together. So they, they have their own connectors, right? So it just goes like this. Oh, and they're magnetic too. Wow, I did not know that. This is magnetic. So it just goes like this. There you go. And then like this. There you go. And then you take your cable. And I have a bunch of different links. Now, you, there are different links for this stuff, but then you just take your cable here. And then this plugs in right up here, like so. And then this whole thing just goes like this. And then you, there you go, There's your that's your connection. So that's all it takes to basically do this. And your AIO and everything else. So all I gotta do now is just make sure that I have a long enough cable, which I do right to run my fan so we're just going to put that back in here that's pretty cool we don't need this these are so you can plug things up so if you don't if you don't want to worry about the connections you can plug up the additional connections if you want to which is actually pretty cool and then i'm not entirely sure oh this is the hub okay so that's the power and stuff for the hub okay got it so that's just your connections for the hub and you can do, I think it's 14 devices per hub. So each phone, like each fan is a device, an AIO is a device, etc. So we can do 14 per fan. So there you go. There is your stuff right there. And then some of the other things they have, right? If you want. So you actually have things like they have 90 degree connectors as well. Uh, so they have a 600 millimeter and a 200 millimeter. And then you also have, they have cable kits, which is like 600, 200, and 100. So if you want to do something shorter, and then you can get a couple of those. So there's a lot of options to even make your cable, your cable links even better. So we may switch out and do an, a right angle one if we need to, but these are all the stuff that you can go there. Uh, 4000D supports, uh, you could do, we're going to do a 280, a 240 at the top. Um, but you could do six fa seven fans, three in the front and three in the three in the front, three in the top and one in the back. So, okay, let's get this installed, which is now very Lee and Lee-ish. And I might do a right angle one here. We'll have to see how this goes. Because, I, I mean, that's a pretty big cable off the top here. But remember, where we used to have, like, literally, what, 14 cables to start, now we're, we only have one. Like this is the only cable. We have one cable. Now the question is, I might want to do the right angle for this one right away. I think I'll do it on the outside. Hey, how did I run this? It's like if you do it here, uh, was, I, was it on the inside or the outside? I feel like it was on the inside. There you go. You know, you could do one cable. You have room to run the one if you want to. Wow, and these are magnetic, like they even stick to the case. I think the right angle would look nicer. And then from a cable link standpoint, it's a little bit longer, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's grab our, I think we're gonna grab our 200 millimeter right angle one, and then we'll save this for later. I don't think I need this one. So we're gonna open up our 200 millimeter right angle one. Hey, Bluebird, thank you for the raid. I'm trying to get it open here. I don't want to rip the box. Come on. It'll be this way. There we go. Okay. So here we're opening up the 200, the right angled adapter. Okay, and then it just basically unpacked the back here. 
There you go, and there it is. Oh, and they give you two of them. Oh, so you get two cables in a kit. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's not just one. I don't know, how much is a kit? Does anybody know? I'm guessing this stuff is not cheap at the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna take, oh, that's really short. Never mind, that's incredibly short. I, I don't know if that, that might be too short. I think I'm gonna do a six, 600 millimeter, I lied. 200 millimeters is not very long. So we're gonna switch that to 600 millimeters because 200 millimeters is very not long. Well, that's pricey, yeah. Th a three pack is, that's quite pricey. Okay, so we're gonna go to the 600 millimeter version. Just have the right angle. I have to say the box and stuff like that is actually pretty straightforward for using it. Like pretty impressed with how easy it is to, to redo it all. So it just slides in just like that, and then the other side. And Mrs. Robitex in the Mrs. Robitex in the chat, huh? She's been uh, she's been taking care of our little niece. all day, so she's, we haven't been able to see each other. So we have not, so pretty excited if she's actually, yeah, she's been a long day for her today. want to keep all that stuff together. All right, let's grab the longer 600 millimeter version of this because the, oh, never mind, it's right here. And then we'll use that for the cables for the fans here. There we go. Yes, it is. It is good to have her here. I'm sure she's ready, looking forward to it. I think, I think just for some little housekeeping items, Mrs. Robitech, I think uh, little Miss Maddie pulled out stuff for dinner tonight. She was supposed to. So, from the new box from HelloFresh. Oh, come on. I'm trying not to rip the box. There we go. Okay, whew, I did it. Oh yeah, here we go. So let's open this up. And this also looks, this looks like it only comes with one cable. Okay, so this only comes with one. So the other one comes with two. This one only comes with a single 600 cable. That's kind of lame. I mean, I guess it's all cost savings, but it, it would have been nice that everything came with two cable kits. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take this cable and we're gonna run this one single cable. We'll actually probably just run it up with this other stuff, just like that. And then we'll have the one connection. Right here. What is the... Okay, we're just gonna plug it in up at the top. There it is. And then now we have our 90 degree ready to go. Pretty simple, that's pretty straightforward. Nice. Okay, now we just gotta put our fans back on. 
and that was a pretty quick replace. Okay, so let's go to, yeah, there we go. And then because of that 90 degree, we just get a little bit higher, oops, we get a little bit higher placement of the fans there. But if this is a normal Corsair build, like for hooking this up, I got one, I got one cable to worry about. And this time I've only got, I mean, I've got, yeah, versus like literally what? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cables. So we went from ten cables to three so far. That's what we went down to, ten to three. Igor, by the way, thanks for joining us for Diablo. Okay. This is uh this has some powerful Definitely a little bit more torquey. I wonder if No, this feels fine. Very smooth for putting screws in, but looks like a little, like quite a bit of torque to hold them in. There we go. Uh, I don't really like the LTT screwdriver. It doesn't have a long enough. It doesn't have a long enough head, and I like I like the power. So if I'm gonna, I wouldn't replace this, which is the screwdriver it would have replaced because it doesn't, for the screwdrivers like I need, what, what I'd use it for, it doesn't have a, it, I need basically what are essentially long necks, like screwdrivers either like this or like this that are thinner. And the LTT one has that ratchet, which I don't much care for. So I'd rather have a wow stick. I like I like I like the way that you said that. Um, I like the way that you said that NGO reason. He didn't want to sound inappropriate, but It's just like as somebody who builds as much as I do, I just don't find, like I like these because they, they I mean, I can get into pretty much, like it, like it can, it's just easy, it's more effective, but for really the other stuff I need, it doesn't really kind of do what I need it to do, the other, the LTT one. Okay, so there we go, we got that, and there we go. So we got that one done. Now what we wanna do is we wanna figure out where I'm gonna place my hub because we can just run all this stuff down and through here, right? Just for now, let's just assume that's what we're gonna do. And the hub's tiny. The reason I'm asking about where I'm gonna put the hub is because I do have, I have this rear fan I gotta, I gotta put in. So I'm just gonna try and find out where I'm gonna run my hub. That, that, the, man, this, this, the 600 millimeter cable is really long, which is nice. Okay, so that's that's essentially now, remember the cable mess we had when we started? This is our cable mess now. That's it, that's the whole, that's everything for the front. We got one, we got this, and then we got this. We could just put the hub right here. That feels like a good place to put the hub. I wonder if it'll fit. It's got, it's got four. It's magnetic too, so I could just remove this and it's magnetic. That's pretty nice. Well, that did not peel all the way. There we go. Okay, so back, let me just, let's just reinforce how awesome this is. When I used to, oh, this only got two. Oh, interesting. So when I used to do this, is there only, is there, is there, I have another one here. This is the connector kit. So is this like for extending? 
Okay, I want to see. I want to see what this is, guys. We're gonna open this up. Let's go to top down. This is called the connector kit. Some of this is like learning about all the stuff that goes in this ecosystem. Oh, this is just for connecting things together. So this is so you can connect all the extra bits together, okay. So what, I think what we actually wanna do here is, I mean, so for this, we could take these and then all it would have to do, going to the side view, all we'd have to do to be able to say our fans, all three fans are hooked up is just go like this. And there you go, now all, th all three fans are essentially hooked up right now. Man, that's a strong magnet. So there's enough on a hub for two connections. So I feel like what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna daisy chain, but at this point in time, like there, our fans, that's, our fans are hooked up. All three fans are now hooked up to the hub. And then we have these connections that have to go in, which is interesting. So this is your new, you got a three pin that you have to plug in for your power, and then you also have a, a USB. So nothing surprising there. So that connects like that. And then you also have this. And that's all of the connections for the hub. So there, that's all our connections for the hub. And then what I could do is just simply take this, go like this. There we go. That's it. Front fans are hooked up and then those are the only cables I now have to worry about. Pretty crazy when you think about it. Okay, well, our fans are replaced. Our fans are completely replaced and ready to go. We can actually put our build, our, we can actually start working on our motherboard and all that fun stuff now. So we'll take this stuff out. Yeah, I wonder if there's gonna be an iLink. There probably will be iLink versions of like the cases as well, which makes a lot of sense. So that way, all you're doing is buying the case and it's got the iLink stuff and then all you're doing is adding into it. I just think it's gonna take a while for all that stuff to kind of propagate throughout the entire ecosystem. But guys, that's pretty rad, right? Like all we have three fans, there's a single cable that plugs into it. And then now we have, what we're gonna do is we'll probably try and daisy chain the, the uh, rear fan into the AIO. So we should be able to do that just with a single cable up at the top. And then we'll have our, we'll have everything. It'll just be two cables to this hub and that's it. And that'll be cool. So let us continue the process of building our build. But now we get to do the fun stuff, which you guys always like, which is let's go ahead and see. Uh, no, this is an AMD build, so it will not do that. So let's start with RAM clicks. Let's start with RAM clicks, guys. 95.6 and see how that goes. Ugh. Yeah, it's very clean, which I love. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure. Uh, I, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. So here's our motherboard. Yeah, and then don't forget, guys, new converse, new thing going on in Discord. Show us your best pets. So show us your best pets. 
if you guys want to check that out, that is happening right now. Uh, that's over on discord.gg slash robytech. Okay, let's go to zoom in here. Okay, here we go. So let's grab our stuff we need for this. Okay, first thing is CPU. Ryzen 7 7800X3D, fantastic gaming chip. So we're building like a mid-range, I mean, this is only, this build with all, everything we said was just at 2,600 bucks. So it's a nice mid-range PC build. Um, you know, again, if you always wanna find all the parts, they're always down in the description of the YouTube channel, but you can also head over to robytech.com slash builds and it's there as well. All the parts with links on how to get everything. So if you want, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I wanna follow along, that's a great place to go to follow along and pick up the parts as well. So, cause I mean, this video will be available on a VOD. We are gonna be doing a cut down version of this. So should you wanna follow along with this build, you absolutely can. The Tough, I mean, Araxis, the Tough is still such a great brand. And honestly, their aesthetics are pretty point on as well. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it popped, oh, it popped a little bit. Nothing crazy, but it did pop. Okay. Um, I am gonna, for the sake of testing, um, I am going to let, uh, because I know this is a new AIO, so we are going to go ahead and just get and leave the, the thermal paste that's on the AIO and use that. So we're not going to thermal paste it today um, because I want to see what the temps are like with the stock, AI stock AIO thermal paste. Okay, here we go. Kingston Fury. Our did our, is the clicks already done? Are they ready? Um, Blondie. Sweet. Yeah, I already, yeah, 95.6. I'll, I'll do the M.2 while we wait. No Bob Roby today? What does that mean, Igor? Oh, oh, no Bob Ross. Okay, sorry. It took me a second to knew it. Yeah, no Bob Ross today. Yeah, 96.5. Okay, we're getting our two terabyte NVMe drive in there. Already has an OS on it, so we'll be able to test this when we're done. Yeah, we're missing out on Bob Ross Robitech today. There we go. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so we're letting the clicks go down real quick. While we're at it, I'll just take a quick break because there's almost 300 people here now. So a couple things. One, we do have some giveaways happening. First and foremost, what you can do is uh, you can go and hit that thumbs up button over at youtube.com slash robytech live. We get 250 likes to give away a $25 new gift card. Second one uh, is uh, we already got the level five hype train, so that gift card is already happening, so we're good to go there. Also, we're potentially going to be giving this build away, but regardless, it will be a build that will be similar in terms of price, about 2,500 bucks. That'll be two subs in the month of July and August. If you want to be a part of that, head on over to twitch.tv slash robytech. Use your free Amazon Prime sub, you are entered to win. Now, if you want to get additional entries, you subscribe at tier one, tier two, and tier three. That gets you more additional entries. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry as well. Plus, plus, if you subscribe to Kick and Discord and Twitch, then you basically triple your entries. And Kick subscribers, you're also entered to win the exact same way. If you're subscribed on Kick, same deal. All you got to do is gift sub, all that sort of stuff gets you entries towards winning this PC as well. So. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, we're just about done with the prediction. Um, and then also don't forget to check out and take pictures of your doggy and submit them over at discord.gg slash robotech. Okay, let's get our, our top down 
thing ready. 96.5 is is the beautiful uh, is the uh, the Kingston going to do it for us? Okay, my dogs would scare people. Your dogs do not scare people, Zeist, and I've seen your dogs. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. First one right here. 96.5, guys. That's what we're going for. 98.5. Crushed it. Crushed it at 98.5. Ninety seven point oh. So basically no problem whatsoever crushing either one of those those uh, those levels at all. So done Z, no problem Z. Okay, so we have this is essentially it's it's okay, let me go see what our mount is like. We haven't seen that yet. So we're opening up a new box, guys. New a new reveal. World 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 reveal right now. Let's see how this actually looks and what the mounting mechanism for and all that sort of stuff. So this is the brand new iLink version, sorry, link version of IQ of the H100. There we go. And what's the, what's the cost on this right now? I don't know if we've linked it out. Oh, and for folks who don't want to know, here are the parts for today's build. If you're just get, if you're uh, if you're curious, Miss Mayhem. Wait, is that the real Miss Mayhem? Uh, there you go, right there. AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3, uh, 7800X3D. We got the ASUS Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi. That ASUS Tough Gaming NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti. WD Black SN850 2 terabyte. Kingston Fury Beast 32 gig at 6,000 mega transfer. Corsair 4000D Airflow. The iLink H, the IQ Link H100i, and then an RM7, uh, RM750X. So this is a 199 uh, for uh, this particular, this particular AIO, which isn't. That's actually not unreasonable. So, yeah, the badges, the new badges. That's right. You guys are coming up on the new badges. Okay, here we go. Stop, don't forget to view the manual. So you were saying the manual's not up yet. Let's see if, if it works now. Nope, doesn't work yet. Okay, wow, okay, so a lot less. You've got another hub. There's your screws. This is Intel hardware. That's TR4 retention, and then here's our AM4, AM5 stuff. Wow, okay, so they, they made that very clear. And then here is the, I'll take this out later. And by the way, check this out. The fans are already installed on this. So, and I don't need another hub because the hub I've already got. I don't need the hub. So I, the only thing I should need of this is this. So I'll put this back in. All I'm looking for right now is the retention hardware. There we go. And let's go ahead and quick, quietly open this up. So it opens nicely. Okay. Okay, so this is So it feels like this is just all I need to do is replace and then pop these in. If I'm not mistaken. Though those look seem really thick. Let me try. See if these work. Miss Mayhem, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. You're amazing. Some of this is out. I think it's coming out in, in tiers. Mm. 
Hey, Johnny be good. 14. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny be good. Johnny be good. Okay, so this, yep, yep, this just screws in there like that. So it looks like they've changed the mounting mechanism for the AIO for AMD, which is fine. Okay, there you go, and there you go. Yeah, they're sending me a bunch of this stuff, so I'll be able to, like, as we get more, and then my, I will be doing in a, uh, in August, I will be doing a water-cooled, water-cooled um, one as well. So we are gonna be doing water-cooled. Okay, so there's that. I think I need this, which I will need later. So I'm gonna just put this back in here and then put this back away. Okay, so we're good for this for a little while. We'll open the rest of this later. Fans are already installed, which is nice. So all I gotta do now is put the MOBO in the case. MOBO in the case time, guys. So right now we're coming up on a little over, a little under an hour of the build. We got the MOBO built, we got the three fans replaced. And we're, we're I mean, it's cranking along. And again, the only cable that we have right now is in the back. This is everything, like that's it. We got that hub just sitting there waiting and then uh, everything should be able to hook into that hub. So we'll see. We're trying not to get too excited, but so far it's uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, going to top down. Don't have an integrated IO, so nothing to worry about there. And we've also got like, look, we got little additional RGB on the side here for the for the new fans. So we got some different some different lighting here, which is cool. I picked up some, I'm glad I did because it took a couple tries to feel comfortable. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of an interesting idea just to practice getting used to stuff. Okay, I'm gonna promise to only use, I'm gonna try and use only the uh, zip ties that came with the case. This is all the zip ties I'm allowed to use. That's my challenge to myself. If, if the cable management should be that easy with this new system. Should be is the operative word. Well, they give you a lot of extra additional stuff here for this. Well, it's still odd or even, right? We can still do the zip tie challenge. Just the question is, will he, will I be able to do it? Will I be able to do it with just the numbers I've been given? So that's the question. So we still are going to do zip tie count should be able to. So it'll still be odd or even, we don't know. It'll just be far less than normal. So yes, we're still doing the zip tie challenge. Oh yeah, here we go. Time to start getting our, oops. I don't think this one's magnetic. I think this one is though. We'll have to use Excalibur for this one because I don't have a magnetic. There we go. Get it in. It looks like your computer, except for this one has the new uh, IQ Link stuff. Dang it, Roby. There we 
we go. Nice, easy. I like it. I like it when it's easy. It's funny because I don't think we'll actually need any RGB headers either. And there is no, there is technically, there's no, there's no SATA connection. It's got a separate PCIe connection for power. There we go. Uh, Dratho, thank you. I'm glad, Dratheo, thank you very much for saying you love the show. I'm glad that we are enjoying it. Okay, here we go. Couple more, couple more screws, just taking our time. There we go. One more after this. Thank you very much for everybody for all the all the give all the subs support and everything today it was amazing. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's all of our screws in. Just gonna put these away, put them back in the box, and then we can. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and run our front panel connections and stuff like that. Get that kind of put away, and then move on to the next part of this whole thing, which is. AIO. Black Dragon, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it, man. 20 months. Johnny B. Good with six months. And then we got Miss Mayhem jumping in, dropping some two. And then More Dead, five months. Uh, so far, we don't know. We'll open it up and find out. I think it's supposed to be just one. So we'll find out when I open it. All right, so that's all in. Let's go ahead and get our front panel connections in. So you have a USB cable, it's gotta go in. USB three, we'll figure that out. USB-C, we'll figure out. Front panel connections go right here. HD audio goes right here. And let's see where our, where's our USB-C, or USB three and USB-C. USB 3 is, okay, they're both up here, okay. Let's go top down. Okay, there we go. Got to be careful not to slam things because that's still, I still have it being held by just a magnet. Okay, there's our USB 3.2. USB-C. There we go, there we go. Ooh, this has got three USB ports at the bottom. That's awesome. I never knew that about this hub. I, I have seen that on other X670 boards, but that's awesome that this has three, three USB connections down there at the bottom of this MOBO. That's super rad. You need that more and more nowadays. Okay, power switch, reset switch. Baba Ganoush dropping three more gifted subs. Thank you, Baba Ganoush. Okay, we're gonna do reset switch. Power switch. We have power plus and minus. And power plus. There we go. Okay, there's that all hooked up. 
And then we have our HD audio over here in the far corner. There we go. Okay, there's all of our cables plugged in for front panel. So now we just need to get them cleaned on the other side just to make sure they stay looking nice. The most important ones are these right here. So what I'm gonna do is a, 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 ni a nice little, uh, what's called, it's a, it's a little bit of a trick. It's not a big one, but it is a trick. We're gonna take one zip tie. We're gonna try and make this look like there are no zip ties in this build. So I'm gonna use the this cable here Put it right here and then zip tie this in. Before I do that, I want to see how high this goes up. Okay. I know this will actually go up into it too. Okay. It's all about getting this stuff to look as nice as possible. Now this cable, I can I can probably do something nice with that one later. This cable, there's not a whole lot I'm gonna be able to do right now, so we'll just do that. There we go. Try and look like there's no there's I mean it's gonna be hard to hide this one, but we'll work on it. So you can figure it out. We'll take some time. So then when I do this. Make sure this clip stays where There you go. I don't I'm trying to think of what I can do to hide this. I wonder if I can do something cool I can do here. There we go. And there might be just this one cable here, but that'll be okay. I wonder if I could, I might. There is an entrance here, which I could run down and over. So I could run this like through and down, you know what I mean? And so that would look good and it'd be underneath. So I can try that. Let's try this. So what you do here, is you go like this. This is called, we're guys are trying extreme cable management here a little bit. See how good we can make this look like it's like there's no zip ties. There will be, but I'm gonna try and make it look like there's none. As best I can. Do the 
this to be below. go and there we go what is this this is this is the highlight like cable I don't want the cables to be visible that way. I wonder if I, I can't get any higher, can I? Maybe a little bit higher would make it look a little bit better. So we want some length here. That looks good. So there you go, only two zip ties used so far. I could probably put a zip tie there, but that looks pretty clean. So we've used one zip tie so far. I mean, so, but you don't see any in the back. So, all right, let's get our AIO in. We've used two zip ties thus far. Okay, let's put our AIO in. Front looks clean. Okay, now is the test. Let's see what this thing comes with. In terms of cabling and stuff like that, because this is going to be new. Go to top down. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we need this. We won't need this. We won't need this. We shouldn't need this. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we have to. One thing we'll have to figure out. Let's take this off. Okay, so this is the, there's your thermal paste. It's got a little spread on it. Big old, big old honking thing on it. Okay, here's the cables. So that you don't need, that's for the hub. That's for the hub. Connectors. That's for the, so there is a fan output thing and then you have your right angle and another connector thing here. Not entirely sure here. Okay, so there's all your connections. 
So you have a USB-C. So I feel like this is so you can connect this into this. So you basically just connect this. And then it goes out. Okay. But I need to connect another kit. I need to cut I need to connect another fan. So here's what I'm here's what I'm looking at, because I have two fans that I need to connect. So I can either add another hub. Gotta think about this. Okay, so I don't need this. I don't need this. Where does this plug in? Unless this plugs in, this might plug into the hub, the bottom. Yeah, that plugs into the bottom, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, the, you don't need the software to test it, though, because it's just to show the digital part, right? I don't know. Uh, I'm 99.9% .9 sure you don't. Let me see. And also, part of, it, part of the testing is what's the impact on height. Yeah. Right here, I, they sent a reviewer's guide, so it's probably in here. Hold on, let me send it to you. Oh. There you go. Cool. Okay, so this connects to the fan. Okay, so here's what we're, we're working through this stuff. Where did this, okay, so this I don't, I can put back in here. I don't need this. I just need to, I need to figure out how I'm going to do the fan here. That's the next part of this thing. Because I don't want to add, I do not want to add another, I do not want to add another, um, I do not want to add another component. So I need to add a fan in. So the fan, I do have places to do fans. So what I could do is I could run the fan connection to the back and run that through the top which feels like the right thing to do for the rear fan. So, because I'm, I'm trying to run only one hub. So if I got this, so this is to basically go from here, whoops. A little bit of thinking with this. This is to go from here and to plug into here. the best thing to do is do it like this there we go okay so that takes care of this okay and then this plugs into the output here and then goes down into the hub So this plugs into here, like this, so you guys can see here, sorry. It's going to go on the outside for this one then. There you go. That goes there. And then this plugs into the... And then now what I need is I need a cable kit to go from here to the other side. So I'm gonna run this. So this will go in here. And then I'll just want one more cable that plugs up into the top. That'll be for the rear for this. But this should all be the only cable I need at the top. That's all it needs to hook up. Oh, minus the fact that I forgot to take out the screws. Wait, where are the screws? The where are the screws for this? 
Oh, and I gotta take I gotta take this whole thing apart. Where is the oh, it's all in here, okay. So here's all the connection, here's all the hardware. Okay, there it is. Okay, so. I just need not long screws. Well, they give you more, they give you more, um, they give you more tall screws if you needed them. But I do not, so let's go and do this. Let's go to side view so you guys can see what I'm doing. So very easy tooling in terms of installing. Hey, Guy Dewar, GSX Therapy, thank you very much for the sub as well. Three months. Just sharing so it stops reminding me over and over why we can't just lurk subscribe on Amazon. I don't know. 25 months from GSXR Therapy, dude. 25 months. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so then pull this up. Still gonna have to move this, I think, to get to the to get to our our uh, power connector here. It's not quite. I should be able. I wonder if I can put it in, but it's like this one cable kind of hits where it needs to. So we'll have to see. But the question I have now is like, as I got these installed, right? So there it is, and that's all it takes. I'm not going to tighten this all the way because I think I'm going to have to go ahead and put in my extension. And then I'll have to, I'll be able to mount it. Devoted Phantom, Sai Swan, thank you very much for the subs. possible with this okay well welcome guy doer and three-year badges are now officially live guys because we finally have three-year subscribers which is crazy How are we doing likes on YouTube?
Don't forget to get the likes. 111 to 250, guys. We have more than enough people. Head over. To, let's do a direct link to the video. Just head on over. Hit that thumbs up. Remember, it's worth a $25 new gift card. Okay. So we're going to remove this real quick because it's just going to be easier if I do it this way. Man, that is smooth, guys. That tooling is smooth. Hickick45, thank you very much for the sub. Congratulations on your first sub, new sub. Okay, put this down. Okay, now we got our power, our CPU power in there. Take care of that little problem. And then now we can put this in here. I wonder if it'd be better to go out of the back. It might be, it might be better to go out of the back for both of these. go let this go to the back here okay here we go remounting this there we go and Boom. Okay, now we can get it remounted and then we're good for. One more. Okay, there we go. Last thing here. So we're at an hour and a half right now. So just in terms of, and I'm, I'm spending a little bit more time on cable management, but still pretty quick. Usually these builds take three hours. I don't feel like this is gonna take that long. Okay, so we just, the only thing we gotta do figure out, and there's a little bit of new discovery here, cause we gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the, uh, like as I'm learning how to daisy chain stuff, cause there's more daisy chaining with this one. We're gonna to have to run a longer cable for sure for the other, the third fan. Just gonna run up and around. So I'm gonna run that now. Got all sorts of stuff open. Not as straight, it's, it's a little bit more, it, there's a little bit more thinking what we've done because now things are interconnected in a way that we're not used to. So going to top down, opening a brand new, brand new fan type. So this is the H, the QX120 RGB. This is just a single fan. These do have pull things. Nice, and then they come with just screws. It's the only thing in here. There's no cable for these at all. So if you are expecting to get a cable with this, you do not get a cable. You do get a connection kit, but you do not get cables. And there are already two plugs ready. So if we wanted it, if you wanted it, if you wanted to add a fourth here, so that comes out, and then this is so it's like made to basically plug together. And unplug that. Okay, so that is that. Okay. Let 
to get screws. Okay, that's that. That's everything that comes with it. Okay, now what I need is I need to, it looks like the center ring is actually RGB on the back. So that might actually be RGB as well. Interesting, okay. And where you peel is the same on all these. There we go. There we go. Now the question is, can I make this? So ideally you'd have like a long 90, but I think the only thing I'm gonna be able to do is to put a longer, I need a longer cable here. So 96, uh, a 9600 work if it would have come with two 90s, but I'm gonna have to use one of these cable kits. Oh, I bet you, I bet you that, here. Instead of doing that, I think this one would be fine. So I opened a cable kit here. Let's go to top down. I think this one will be long enough, actually. Should be long enough. Yeah, this ecosystem is gonna take some getting used to. And it actually makes it a little bit more complicated to plan your build because you're like, what cable will I need for this and this and this? So I think that's gonna make our jobs as, uh, as people who do, it's like, oh, I need you know to be to that much better. We're gonna have to do better because we have to be able to tell you guys what cables and stuff you need. Victor, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, so we got that through now. Yeah, so it's a little bit different than what we're used to. Shoot. I have a love-hate relationship. Can I tell you guys I have a love-hate relationship with fan screws because they're not quite me metal? Come on, give me the hole. There we go. It's going to be... Gosh darn it. I'm gonna have to do this with a normal standard screwdriver. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Just gotta get it started. Yeah, this is, these are these are like these require some torque to put in. More than more than standard screws for sure. Ninety would definitely look better in that corner. go there you go a couple more screws and we're done 
Okay, guys, all the fans are in. Ooh, strip that a little bit much. There we go. Okay. So now all we have is one cable. This cable is so we can daisy chain our AIO, our fans to our AIO. So this is just the last, it's the last cable I gotta connect. And it's gonna go at the very end here. There it is, okay. Okay. So the way I have it, we should have only, we should have only the hub, one hub. We'll have one hub for everything. So let's finish screwing in the top now, and then we'll be all finished with, we just gotta put in the AIO. Uh, so Devolved asked what board, here we go right here. Here's all the parts list for what we're putting in today's build. So you guys can see it all. There's all the parts right there. Makes it easy, because I know people want to know. There's the things, all the bits, all the bobs. And then of course, if you have any additional questions, you can always head over to robitech.com slash builds. And then everything is also located there as well. So we try to make it try to make it easy for you guys to find everything. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's all done. Okay, let's go ahead and put, let's go ahead and mount our AIO in. So going to the top down. So here is where, back here in this corner, you can see it right here. That's where the rear fan is plugged in. So it's basically, there's a single connection plugging into this and now all these three fans are daisy chained. Okay, so now for, we gotta switch out the plate for this. Oh, shoot. Guys, please take a moment, head on over. Please take a moment, head on over, youtube.com slash rubytechlive. We're so close to being, to we're almost halfway through our likes. You guys should just head over, hit that thumbs up button, right? So that way we can continue to have this content and, uh, you know, have people watch it. That's what the likes are for. And so again, it also, we give away a gift card for doing it and hitting that, that level. So I know that's something we can totally do. We just need people to go over there and hit it real quick. There's over 340, there's 338 people here. Probably more than that, even with kick. So yeah, likes are free. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take this off. We're gonna use their thermal paste. There we go. Very straightforward. And that feels nice. That is a big cooling plate. Oopsie. Mm. 
go. It's pretty, I gotta say. I don't know if there's plastic. I can't, uh, it looks like there is. There's definitely plastic right here. It feels like there's plastic around the other side too. Let me do, where is my, there it is. go. Looks like there might be plastic on the edge here, but I'll leave it alone. Okay, cool. So we now have the whole, the AIO is mounted, very, very straightforward mounting mechanism. So all you got to do is replace your, it's just basically put four things in and it's that's all there is to it so that's actually kind of cool put four screws in and then you're good to go thank you very much again for all the subs we're 10 away from the hundred dollar gift card Amazing, thank you. Okay, so that's all hooked up. Very, very simple. Like I said, it was like three cables to plug in, that's it. Everything else is kind of done. So there's no, like to, to, to actually have it work, all I have to do is plug in one cable. And it's this, this is the only cable I have to plug in. And I could run that through and that goes right here. Okay, guys, the AIO is officially hooked up. That was it. That was all it took to get the AIO hooked up, was that. That was the whole AIO. Might be able to. I actually might be able to run this one up to the top part of this. All right, cool. Did you try the same just to test? Well, I'll ask him anyway, but I mean, just to test if the C8, the, the, the same stuff that the, the digital case uses, because it's the same company, the CH510. I mean, you can check tomorrow. It's all, I'll, I'll ask anyway, they'll probably respond tonight. Okay, what I'm working on right now is just figuring out how I'm gonna cover I want to try and make it as best I can. I'm going to have to have two, I'm going to have to have some zip ties up at the top. I might be able to, I wonder if I, yeah, I think like this is like the best thing here. Okay. That's the only, so that's, that's that all hooked up.
go. There we go. Last part is just to hide it here. We'll have, that'll be that. Gosh darn it, you piece of. Okay, that should be it should be everything. I'm gonna height and I want to build in might go with this system. Yeah, honestly, the system is so far pretty impressive. I mean again, like in terms of there's just some figuring out as you work through stuff, but once you kind of get things figured out, it gets pretty straightforward. Trying to hide our our zip ties. That one actually might we might actually have a Okay, so there we go. And then we have this one right here. Okay, so if, I don't know if you guys remember when I used to do AIOs and everything, how this used to look, but this looks a whole lot cleaner than that at that point in time. For what used to be a Corsair AIO system, this is actually very clean. That's all there is to it. Only thing I got to do now is run our cable extensions and that's and put in our GPU. That's like it. So we're uh, okay. Oh, one other cable I did mean I need to mention. So this is this is the only other cable I'm gonna have to run, which kind of sucks because I just did some cable management. Um, this is actually for the uh, so the so you can tell the speed of the AIO, and it does connect down here at the bottom part of the hub. It's a pretty long cable, which is good. So that goes there and it plugs in up here. So that's the only other cable I have. I don't have to run. Okay, so we're gonna put this
you go. There we go. And what I want to do is I basically want to create a thing right here. We have one zip tie here. We're all about hiding cables right now. That's what I'm working on. Okay, let's run. There we go. There we go. go and the only cable I had to like oh shoot oh it's okay I can put that in. okay cool there we go now you don't see that other cable Count on that one. Okay, now we just need to run our extensions and then we're done. And then we can do cable, then we can do zip ties. Okay. Guys, we are at the very end of this build. I was like, wait, these aren't the right cube. I was like, wait, these are the wrong ones. Yeah, very, it's, it's, it's a little bit, it's not, it's funny because it's simpler and harder at the same time. So it's not as, it's not as straightforward because you have to think, you have to think a little bit more logically. I mean, I guess you could rush and not do what I'm doing, which is like thinking about how to hide cables and stuff like that. But for the most part, like pretty, I mean like really, really kind of easy. Now the planning becomes a little bit harder because you have to think about what connectors you might need. And that's the only thing that might be interesting um, because it's like, oh, well I need this and this with this connector or whatever it was. There's a little bit more, it's not as straightforward in that regard you're like, oh, I might need a 90 to plug into this or whatever it was. So it's not like it's, it's not like 
It's a self-contained, though you could, if you wanted to just run hubs for everything, um, but that kind of defeats the purposes. Well, I hit, like I hid, well, you hide what cables? I meant like hiding things like the little small cable just to make it look like there's even less cables. But yeah, in terms of my overall cable management time, my cable management time is what, almost, what? It's significantly less than what I usually spend on a build. I think I'm even being more anal on this one than I have been, the, and I still am using less time. You don't have to, but if you want to hide things, like for instance here, up here at the top, let me pull it down a little bit. Like this one right here, I think I'd rather have a 90 for that, but it, you can't really see it, but if I was going to be anal, that'd be the only one is like having a longer 90 cable for just that one. You know, and then having a 90 for over here versus like the uh, versus like a tall one. It's funny because I almost feel like they should have defaulted to all 90s instead of defaulting to like the larger ones. not be that loose. I mean, I need it to be loose so that way. There you come up here. Okay, let us put in our Jeep, because that's all that stuff. The GPU one has its own cable. I don't need any of these other extensions. There's no SATA, right? So it's like the GPU is gonna be simpler. We're using a shift, so. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? I know I, I hate I hate having to remind you guys, but we gotta make sure we get those likes. Come on guys, there's more than enough people. If you can just head over to twitch.tv, uh, youtube.com slash. Get it knocked out real quick. We have enough people. Okay, time to put in our GPU. There's a link, go get the thumbs up. There's a link right there, just click on it and hit that thumbs up button. That's all you gotta do. Likes are free, there's nothing else, but it's worth a giveaway. Please just real quick, go do it. Come right back where you were. 
How fast can we get to 200, guys? Just hit that thumbs up button. Driving to 200, keep going guys. Take a second, just pop on over, hit that, hit that like button. Thirty more, come on. Let's get it to RGB. I mean, sorry, get it to get it to two hundred. Then we then we're like within spitting distance. Keep those likes going, guys. Click on that link one more time. One seventy-two. Let's pop that link in chat one more time. I'm getting out the the or the GPU. There it is. Thank you, Mrs. Roby Tech. Trying to get us going too. This mayhem. Everybody supporting, trying to get it going. Thank you, Miss Mayhem, for the subs today. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Keep going, keep going. Just hit that thumbs up, 177, we can get it. There's more than enough, 353 people here. Crush it out. Kick, you can pop over there too. Hit that thumbs up. Igor, one month. Thank you very much for giving us something to Professor Twitchy. Igor, you rock star. Come on, guys. Only 20 to go. We can do it. 188. Only 12 to go. Smash that like. There we go, that's in. Let's grab our new, by the way guys, brand new product from Asia Horse, the RTX 16 pin sleeved extensions. These are brand new. So these are just now coming out from Asia Horse. So they finally have their 16 pin extensions out now. Okay, there's that, where's the? Okay, and then we got some sleeves for it. Oh, they're not clear though. Oh wow, they've got a, actually got a, they've actually got a bend a thing on it. Okay, can I switch the direction of this? Okay, good. No, oh, no. Does it work this way? Well, it actually has a cover, but if you don't do the other way, Miss Mayhem drop in one gifted subs. Can you shout out my friend Jay? Hi, Jay. Just because you're a big fan, dude. Okay, here we go. Um, what else are we looking for? Okay. 
Okay, just putting our... Th there we go. Just putting our extensions in. So I gotta put the, the cable combs on, which always takes a little bit of time. Why is this not? Okay, one more. We've got them all. Has Jay liked the YouTube video? I like that. It's a clean looking system. It was also a very simple system to put together because of the new system that we, the new iLink system. What are we at now? Likes on YouTube, guys. I mean, I know we get to 200, but remember, we're going to 250, so. 201, hey! Now we only have 49 more to go. You guys have gotten it so close. All right. <sighs> Time to fix this. Okay, 16 pin is in. There's the build finished from the front anyway. All I gotta do is put in the PSU and I'm done. The only thing I got left. I think we have, I think we're on the last part, which is just our PSU. This is our Corsair Shift. So we're using all the new Corsair tech, minus the, as people have mentioned, I don't have, I'm not using a Corsair RAM. It's the only thing I didn't do. Ugh. Okay, so that's what our situation looks like back here. It's just not bad. <clears throat> Top down. Okay, so let's get this open. So here's our PSU. Which, I mean, the beautiful thing about this PSU is I can put it in and then put the cables in afterwards because all the cables plug in via the side. So if I really wanted to, I don't even have to work all that hard at it. DJ Techno, we'll see you later. Yeah, I could have done Corsair M.2s as well. Dang it. 211 of 250, guys. Finish it out. We're almost there. Let's just drive and get it done. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do this without installing the. I'm gonna I'm gonna just put this in and see if you can actually not have to install the um, install the cables first. We're gonna get crazy up in here. We're gonna do all. We're gonna test all of the the craziness today. On our side camera here. We're not installing the cables first. We're gonna see if I can do it all post. <clears throat> Hit those like buttons on YouTube, guys. Can we get to 250 before Roby finishes the build? That's the question. Snip the RGB cable. Grant hates, not a fan of RGB, huh? Okay. Now, if you guys have never seen a Corsair build before, you would know as well as I do this is not what you're used to. Usually you're used to a cable, especially with six, what's essentially six Corsair fans. That's usually 12 cables plus a hub that has its own cables plus the AIO that has its own cables. So we're, used, we're down to what is essentially one, what, one tenth of the number of cables. And that is good. The dogs didn't like it. 216 guys, finish it out. One tenth the number of cables right here. And, you know, obviously that is not how we're going to, you know, when we're done, that's it. So now, and the only thing too is what, another thing you're used to with what used to be Corsair is you'd plug in your PSU and you'd, you'd have to plug in all the cables separately. But in this case, you don't have to do that either. Now we're gonna grab our Our 16 pin. That's our CPU. Okay, need that. There we go. Now I have left is these. It's a little more than I usually do, but because I'm not using the 16 pin. Use both of these. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do plug that in. There we go. There's that.
go. CPU. better thing to do would be to we could do that which would actually look pretty cool or I could just do this I think we'll, 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 we'll do it on here go. Next up is our, where's the other kit? There it is. This comes down all the way, so I gotta. I might have to do this, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna do this like this, and then we'll block this with this cable. <clears throat> Need 30 more likes, guys. That's all it takes. Okay, this is the last three. I have three zip ties left and I have three places to put them. So I'm gonna use exactly the number of zip ties that I was given by the build thing, by the case. That's all, I, I'm, that's all I'm using. No more, no less. I accomplished it, guys. The chat didn't think I could do it? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't even know there was a vote on that.
Okay, well, I'm gonna just put one here for safety's sake and then we're good. I am hungry, guys. But we still gotta bench test this bad boy. Okay, there we go. That's it. It's all the zip ties and I'm exactly, I have used no more. It's all I had. Okay. Well guys, there it is. The entire build completely done. There is it with full cable management. So there's all the cable management. Again, not much in terms of cable showing there. That's all there is. And then on the front side, I'm gonna probably clean up this a little bit, but yeah, I'm not surprised. There's our build, completely done and ready to go. And we did it in just, what, two and a half hours? So a full, I mean, for given what I normally do with a Corsair build, that's almost an hour plus less time. And I was a lot more anal about cable management in this one, uh, just trying to basically make sure it was perfect. So let's finish the build, putting it together and get it all done. It's time to put the panels on and all that sort of stuff. And then we'll go through our deals and our sponsor. And then we will turn it on and benchmark it. we go. And it goes on easily. Okay, one more shot there. So you guys can see it like finished, finished. There is, there is a Corsair, there is a Corsair IQ link cable management job. And again, much, much easier, very, very clean. This is the only cable we essentially have. Everything else is just nice with the shift and everything else like that, but that's all there is to it. Very, 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 very simple. We'll just go like this, and then again, pops on easily. So it wasn't even hard to clean to get on. And there it is, completely done. Okay, now the only thing we gotta do, we're gonna go through our sponsor and stuff real quick. Once our sponsor's done, and then we'll turn it on, benchmark it, make sure it posts. But let's do our cable, let's count our, let's count our, our cable combs. Was it odd or even? I guess we're gonna find out how many it actually comes with, right? Because that's the question. So here's our cable combs right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 12. It was 12 zip ties. It was even. Sorry, zip ties. 12 zip ties. There it is. Compared to the last, I, I, I think the last build that I did with, with Corsair, I think we we're at like 40 or 50. So that is a huge improvement in uh, deaths of cable ties, of zip ties, sorry. Death of zip ties down, you know, what, 500% or something like that? Guys, 228 to 250, we're almost there.
What is this stuck on? Okay, this is stuck on something. Oh. Stuck on this. Ugh. Sponsor and deal times. Guys, I think I just want you guys to be prepared because this is going to make your wallet hurt. Because the deals <laughs> today are going to be a little bit ludicrous because of Prime Day. Ludicrous because of Prime Day. Yeah, they're gonna make your hot wallet hurt or you're gonna be happy, whichever way you wanna look at it. Um, or they're gonna make you sad because you're broke, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter, but let's, let's take a look here. Let's go to... Um, what else am I looking for? One sec here. Okay, uh, apparently the, oh, there it goes, okay. Oh, that was weird, just slow. Okay. So you get finished. You get finished building a PC, and you're done, and you're like, "Oh, Roby, what about getting Windows 11?" Well, if you pick up a copy of Windows 11 at some place like, if you pick up a copy of Windows 11 at some place like uh, um, Best Buy or Newegg, it's going to cost you about 100 and 100 to 150 bucks. But here, you can pick up a copy of Windows 10. Uh, at VIP slash CDK deals .com for $18.77. So here we are, we're looking at Windows 10 Home. Uh, you can see it's $18.77. You can hit buy now. Uh, you can use, use this code. If you use code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $18.77? Now it only costs $13.14. Super, super inexpensive, no big deal, and you save yourself a bunch of money. This is an OEM code, so it works on one PC, but really all you care about is just making sure your PC's up and running for less than 15 bucks. What about Microsoft Office? You know, another really great deal and something that usually has a tendency to be more expensive. Where's Office 2021? It's usually 206 bucks, uh, sometimes more, unless you're gonna do the, uh, the subscription, but here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can get it for $74.52, but if you hit buy now, and again, same, same kind of deal. Use code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. Instead of $74.52, now it's only $52.16. Now, if you have questions, again, we've had people who've used it thousands and thousands and thousands of times, no problems whatsoever. So if you want to know if they're product support, if there's any issues, if the codes are legit, you can just ask right here in the chat. Uh, there are tons of people who've used it. Um, we've used it, the codes are authentic, uh, and then they were verified at the time. So yes, I support, uh, I have no issue uh, with sponsoring and having these guys sponsor the channel. So I appreciate them sponsoring the channel today and uh, getting that squared away. Now, the other place I wanna tell you about uh, before we get into build and benchmarking and all that stuff is robitech.com, uh, where you can do things like if you wanna have me commission a PC, these are where all our links are. The other thing too is we also have latest G... <coughs> the latest GPU drivers, as well as our CDK deals. And then we used to have, we also are adding new things like 
uh, you know, if you have power watch stuff, I mean, sorry, power supply questions, all that sort of stuff. So here's here, right here, you just added today, here's GPU PSUs. Here's what the recommended wattage is for each individual one, including the A series. So if you have questions about that, we're starting to make this a destination as well as we're also hiring. So if you guys are interested, we're looking for a tech video script writer um, and we have a couple of submissions already. So jobs are also gonna be located here. So if we, as we have jobs and postings, you can check that out as well. Um, but let's take a look at, oh, and then the last thing is builds. Uh, if, you, you know, if you're interested in this build and you wanted to see all the parts and you're watching this later, you can always go here to Robitech and then here's all the build as well as here's the stream. So you can follow along with the stream and then all the parts are listed right there um, for you to purchase as well. But let's see what deals. Guys, are you ready? I'm just saying, are you ready? Because these are gonna be bonkers, okay? Because it's prime day. So just, just be ready, okay? There we go. Deals for today. Uh, the Govi Glide Hexa Light Panels, these are the ones that are not like this. They're not as nice as the Nano Leafs, but the one thing is if you're a Govi fan, there's a ton of stuff that kind of goes into them, uh, and, they, and their ecosystem is actually really, really awesome. Um, they are on site 33% uh, off for a 10-pack for $119.99 over on Amazon. Uh, the RG Strix 18-inch 240 hertz. This is a Core i9 with 16 gigs of RAM, an RTX 4080, one terabyte, and a $400 off, making it $2,000 for a 13900HX with 16 gigs of memory and an RTX 4080 for just over two grand. That's a really good deal. Uh, Thermal Take Tough Power GF1 850 watt PSU, $94.99 for an 850. That's a wow. That's awesome. Uh, and it's not. It's not. It's not the. Uh, it's not the PCI Gen 3 one. Uh, four terabyte. Four terabyte SN 850 on sale for 229.99. That's nice. Okay, this one, this one is nuts. This is the Corsair Xenion Flex. It's a 45 WQHD, 240 hertz. So it's a 45 inch OLED for 3440 by 1440. It is flexible. It's G-Sync compatible, FreeSync premium, 12.99, 12.99. That is regularly a $2,000 monitor for 1,299 bucks. And then we have the Corsair HS80 headset, uh, 99 dollars uh, if you're interested in picking that up as well. So honestly, the uh, these three right here, the C the uh, laptop monitor and the uh, the NVMe drive are crazy good deals. So yeah, this this is this is nuts. If you're looking for that monitor, by the way, is sick. And I know Sarah from Intel just bought it. That is a ridiculous monitor. And that SN850X for four terabytes is also a ridiculous deal. So anyway, good deals, Tom, good job. Whose wallet hurts after that? Whose wallet hurts after that, after looking at that? Uh, if you could just raise your hand, that would be great. That monitor, guys, that monitor is nuts. It is so good. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to check it out, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy, yeah. And we're five likes away. Okay, it's that time. It's that time of year. It's time to turn on the, P the PC. By the way, huge shout out to, uh, again, our sponsor and everybody else for making this awesome. Um, and yeah, good job, Tom. Igor, another gifted sub. Diesel Gaming giving out a gifted sub. Cosmic Jordan reminding me I need a drink. Oh, bittersweet, that $149,000 P. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. All right, here we go. There it is right there. Oh, grabbing our cables. Okay. HDMI.
Okay, there we go. Oops. Ugh. Okay, here it is. Okay, so here's that. Got our th power and our HDMI just for this one. There we go. Okay, flipping it on and power. Woo! Wow. I never got to see that one. Oh, that? Oh, I like that AIO a lot. Wow, that AIO color is super sweet with the smoked. And then look at all the additional lighting you get. Waiting to see if it posts. This is a first time 7800X 3D, so it's going through A long process. Oh, oh, I see the white light. It's usually a good sign. There it is right there. It is posted, everybody. There it is, posted. There we go. It did post. It is posting, and there it is. What saying we have a new challenger and we are good at 10. And there it is, YouTube goal is reached, and we have everything ready to go to do testing. By the way, those middle, the middle of the uh, RGB rings also on the new, the new fans. I mean, the fans put off a crap ton of light. They're like the QL120s, but man, and they are quiet. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look and see how this thing performs, shall we? Because I got dinner at seven, ladies and gentlemen, and we want to see, make sure that we, uh, we get there, so. Let's go ahead and pop this over. Plus, you guys, we at that point in time, we have been streaming for over over seven hours, or five, yeah, over seven hours at that point in time. Okay, let's plug this in because it's been a while since this has actually been charged. There you go. And okay, let's move over to the new the new setup. Very excited. Guys, that was pretty straightforward. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna grab our beautiful Rocat controller. Rocat. Keyboard and mouse. I should be using a Corsair one, but it's okay. They'll they'll forgive me. So there we go. I'm also gonna throw in our oh one thing I do need to do, which we have not got to do yet, is we need to do the peel. And again, here, just so you guys can see, here are the parts that are in the build we're about to test. So this is the part list right there. There is the parts list right there. And then I'm gonna go back to our side camera real quick and let's do our peel. Here we go. And final peel. Boom, there it is. It looks so good. Okay, let's get ready to bench, see how this performs.
man, those fans look really good. Like here, from the from the if you look at the static, there's the front of the fans. And there's a lot of light that comes out of there, a lot more than kind of the and then the back also looks really good in here too. So we'll get them, we'll get all the fans lit up and get them chosen into a color here in a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's throw, grab our display port, pop that in. There we go. Oh. Pretty lights to belong in a Christmas tree and in a beautiful build. Yeah, the RGB looks really, really good. Okay, now we're just waiting for the monitor to come back up. It's amazing how quiet it is. And I have to say, I'm a huge fan. I am a huge fan of the... Uh, a huge fan of the uh, AIO cover on this thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the new Z that's a replacement because the other one finally sold. So now we got some Zydac stuff on here. We got the new Corsair 2000D. We've got a Falcon Northwest here. That uh, it hurts my heart that this this PC just sits here, but <laughs> it's just like I want to give I want to give it some uh, I want to give it some appropriate love, um, just because it's a Talon, right? Such a such a high end system. Okay, we're just waiting for the system to reset. Here it comes. Yeah, Raxness, this is a this is a very impressive uh, whole system here. Okay, coming in now. Super interested to see how this does. Might be in three days. Okay, we are in. Um, We're just going to make sure everything's up to date. Okay. This is because when we did all our testing. Okay. We're good there. Okay. Let's go to here. Display settings. Go to 2560. We'll go to 125. Okay. There we go. And then now, let us install. We got to install IQ, but I'm going to finish Armory Crate real quick. Make sure this is up to date.
It's always the fun part, right? Oh, thank you. Oh, Mrs. Robitech's taking off, going to bed. Oh, she must. She's probably getting ready for. There we go. Oh, what am I doing that again for? That was dumb. Oh no, I know I hadn't downloaded that. Okay, so this is five three five three six. Okay. So for the people who are asking, this was the same chipset we tried in the deep cool one. The only thing that we haven't changed anything. The only thing we did is we put IQ in. So it's it's. Okay, we're gonna wait for that, and then we're also gonna download uh, IQ. There we go. Okay, we're ready with IQ. We just gonna we have to let this thing finish. Chipset drivers are already up to date. Those are already on 7800X 3D. All that stuff is already on here. Yep, this is just updating, making sure we're up to date. And you'll see that here in the driver. Yeah, see, everything's already installed. And then I already installed the X3D chipset drivers and stuff like that. So we're good there. Okay, so let's finish this because this needs to be updated. So far, just I'm just amazed at how quiet it is. Yeah, Araxis, you can. They they're starting to separate from doing that, so that's not as it's not as straightforward as it used to be anymore. So, um, yeah. Okay, let me open Steam. Let it update while we're waiting. I need to. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find out. That's a th that's the reason we want to find out, right? <laughs> right org is we just want to see what it actually ends up doing. Let's open hardware info monitor because this might have an update too. There goes the graphics. Okay, you know, let that do its thing. And then this was. go close okay that's ready let's go ahead and run iq this is the new iq because it just got finished right now we're idling well that seems wrong it says at 95 <laughs> we're at idle It's not doing anything. Well, it's not running IQ right now, so that right, it might actually have something to do with just not that stuff is going. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna assume that we're, right now we're not doing anything. We'll find out.
No, the, the yeah, I definitely did that because the kit, the uh, cooler actually has, the cooler actually has a um, a different, uh, the cooler actually has a plastic whole plastic thing that comes off. So that would not that would not work. Okay, now IQ is just okay. So there it is. There it is. Oh, fans are doing their thing now. Oh, look, there goes the temperature way down. That's still really warm. Oh wow, there it's going lower now. So it's in the 50s now. It's also got very quiet, so it's like the hub was doing nothing. So that's way better. That's everything here. Okay, so now it's in the 50s. And it's getting colder. So it sounds like you just something to be aware of. Let's go, let's go and test this though. Let's bring up Cinebench. Because this is the real test. I'm going to clear min max. Oh, I don't know what Steam's doing. Steam's doing stuff. <laughs> Steam does not help. It still shouldn't be running that warm. Like we saw it get into the 50s. Oh, today is 7-Eleven. You're right. I'm going to see. I'm going to wait for... I'm going to wait because these updates are not going to take a lot of time. And then it goes... Cools down. Let me look at what's... What's going on here? Uh, uh, um, task manager. Let's see what's running right now. Steam. But then the temperatures start going way down again. I mean, it was running in the 50s. There it goes again. So we've done Cyberpunk. And look, now the temperatures are way in the 50s. We're just gonna give it a second, finish it out. Question is how big is this download? Okay, well let's pause this and then let's just run this. Let's see what this does. File, advanced. Oh, wait, there we go, 10 minutes, start it, see what happens. And then maybe there's just, I just didn't see it very well, but it's pretty dumb. I mean, it's like pretty idiot proof. I 
I, dude, something must not be right. I must not have, like, something, like, either when I seated it or whatever it was. It just doesn't seem like it's seated correctly. These temperatures are too warm. I mean, it's got it under control. But still, that's too warm. Yeah, it's, it's controlling it, but it's just like, let's see. I'm just going to check and see if there's just something wrong. Let's just do a reseat and see if there's something better. I mean, the good thing is there's nothing to unplug. It's like super easy to reseat. So let's shut it down and try reseating it and then see if that makes it better. I mean, the good thing is, is that because there's no cables to the pump at all, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 crazy easy, so... Check the CPU you entered. Oh, it says, oh, really? Did I put the wrong CPU in? Oh, well, that might be why too, but. <laughs> oh, that might, but I mean, even, the, uh, yeah, that still, that runs. Oh, this is 7800X 3D in it. Well, I wonder if we have a different CPU. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we just, it was the wrong thing in the wrong box. Yeah, that's a big difference. Yeah, let's check, because then that would actually explain a whole lot. But like I said, the good thing about this is that what if we just put it in the wrong box when we unboxed it? There's no plastic on this one. It, the plastic is uh, the plastic is uh, it's a it's a it's a cover. There's no way to do that. Oh yeah, the seating was good. There was no problem with the seating. I think we just put the wrong CPU in the wrong box. Go to top down. The one thing that is very nice about this particular AIO is that this AIO does not require, like this AIO doesn't, there's no cables to it. So like you can take it off and there's not a problem. <clears throat> well now, yeah, now I have to thermal paste it. That's a 7700X. It was put in the wrong box. <clears throat> I 
Which I mean, that for a 7700X was not that bad, but. Still not the right CPU in this case though. By the way, there was no plastic on it, guys. That's a 70, so it feels like this is the wrong CPU in here. One sec, guys. No, that's why. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, for some reason, I don't know why, but this wrong thing was put in here. So take that out. Here is a 7800X 3D. Now the right CPU is in there. Okay, now it has a Ryzen 77, now it has a 7800X3D in it. No idea what happened there, just something got switched, but it's fine, we'll fix it real quick. We're pulling out the spatula, get it re in there and then go from there. Good job, Trixie. Because it was like making zero sense. I was like, what is going on? Well, when it's the wrong CPU, that would not, that would help. Here we go. Now it's a full covered CPU. And honestly, at least the changing out process with this AIO is really easy. There we go. Okay, let's get this back in here.
Okay. Oh, shoot. There we go. Let's see what our temperatures do now. Should be much better because it's the right CPU. That's the first for me, guys. I didn't even look, right? Like, I just assumed it was the right one in the right box. But now we have the right one. Everything's fine. boot up. It's going to have to do new CPU installed one more time. Why don't we do a giveaway while we wait? Oops, let's go to static. Let's go to static while we wait. Let's do a giveaway while we wait. Okay, first giveaway. Uh, all widgets. Cloudbot. Let's do the let's do the twenty five dollar the two twenty five dollar new gift cards. Exclamation point community. Starting that right now. Two $25 new gift cards up for grabs, guys. Yes. Okay. Waiting for the thing to, oops. There we go. Bring on Expo. 7800X3D now. Two minutes, guys. Wait for the RAM to train. And now we are back to where we started, but this time with the right CPU. <clears throat> okay, let's try this again now.
Let's go to test this real quick. Congratulations, Gearkin and Subhunter808. You guys are the winners. Okay, well, let's just check one more time. We're going to make sure the chipset driver is installed. Congratulations, you guys. We'll draw the last one at the very end to end the show. And don't forget your pets. You guys, we're, we have a really cool pet one come, that just launched on Discord. Uh, you could fit a 4080, yes. You could fit a 48 in there. Okay, that's ready. Let this let these updates happen and then we'll be good. Luckily, this is all small stuff, but we just want to make sure the build is at its peak place, right? There we go. Waiting. It's waiting for the install for this and then we'll be good. It's almost there guys.
it's amazing how fast you can download 46 gigs. That's ready. That's ready as soon as this is done. I mean, this is the last thing. Yeah, with fi exactly, with fiber internet, yep. Build looks really good. Just keep looking at it because like, it's just like the, the fact that there's like no cable off of the AIO, like there's just a lot of really clean to it, right? And like, even though there are cables in other places, like, it, I don't know, it, it just looks really good. And it wasn't hard to do. Are we done? Come on. 81. The download caught in the amount of time it took Windows to update. Well, I guess it's only 21 gigs. Oh, that's why. That's why it's only 21 gigs. It's a 46 gig update total for the build, but the download is only 21.6 gigs. In comes the fast part. Oh, that one went somewhat fast. Okay, there we go. Now I just gotta wait for the finish this. <clears throat> Braxis, I'm glad you're happy. Hey, Booty McBoatface. Thank you for that. That's a great, that's a great name. <laughs> Booty McBoatface dropping a sub. Waiting for the last install. Restart. Okay, last bit now. Ugh. And again, parts that are inside of this build, here they are listed right here. So you guys can see what the parts list are. That's what we're using, the Ryzen, now that we actually have the right one, Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, Asus Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi, Asus Tough Gaming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti, Kingston Fury Bs 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer, the 4000D Airflow, IQ I Link, sorry, the IQ Link H100i, the RM750X Shift, and then we've got the new Link QX150 fans, so. Yeah, the graphics is right. Okay, now we're just waiting for the thing to come in, the stream to come in, the signal to come back. And now updated, now we can just run this one more time just to see how temps are. And then if you're curious, guys, because again, if you're curious, if you want to see how this build performs in like Call of Duty, all that sort of stuff, check out the CH510 stream uh, the CH5 Chen stream, uh, I did Call of Duty. I did uh, all those games. So for a 50, 7800X 3D, if you're just curious how the games perform, you can check that out just to see how it was. Because 
I do know that my wife is expecting me to have dinner, um, and so I will be going to that after we at least get this going. It's going good, Beard. How are you? There's video, it's just loading. It's just restarting. Windows, come back. Windows, come back. So there's no video while we wait for the restart. Yeah, I know, kitty. But like it always makes me nervous because I'm like, wait, but I forgot. You guys don't like because I I run DisplayPort just to make sure I can mirror. Yeah. Pretty build, guys. It's a pretty build. Now we're 35, 44, 94, 95. Windows come back. Jeez, restart after restart. It's going to come back. Should be done now. Thank gosh. Windows come back. I will, I will, after we do the, the after we do the, uh, the temps. It'll be up in just a second. Okay, here we go. We should have, everything's updated now. We're good to go. Let's open up hardware info monitor. See how this is doing now. Make sure it's actually the right one. Okay, package is still in the 60s, but it is a 7800X 3D. Let's open up. Uh, Cinebench. Give it a second just to make sure everything's running. Yeah, all that stuff is loading the way it was. Set to balanced. And then coolant temp is sitting at 36. Okay, well, here we go. Let's see what it does. Oh, now it's in the 50s. <sighs> okay, here we go. 10 minute test. Let's just see how this goes. No more running that. We'll run the last giveaway. Here it goes. So it did, it did peak. That's dropping it back down. Then we're gonna run the $100 Newegg gift card, exclamation point Newegg now. Exclamation point Newegg now. Starting that, saving that and starting that right now. $100 new gift card starting now.
It's definitely running in the 80s under under thing. I, it won't be anything like that in gaming. But it's keeping it in the mid 80s. And it is running better than what we run on the other one. So again, you can see it's actually at 17,724. Two minutes, guys. Remember, subs, you get extra entries for this one. So after the initial like heat up that it's keeping it under control pretty pretty well. No problem. A lot, man, these things push a lot of air. It's actually, the temperature's going down. Like, it's actually getting colder. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. 30 seconds, guys. Guys, the temperature is getting, okay, now it's kind of sitting it in the 80, in the low 80s, but still, it was pretty interesting to watch it sit, it was like getting down in temperature instead of going up. 10 seconds. Picking our winner. Okay, winner is, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Omega AXT, Omega AXT, you are the winner of the new a gift card so again 81 oh see it's still it's even getting cold well no we that's right we just restarted but still i mean this is having no problem now running it in the 80s and the number the score is actually going up now it's 17 925 so it jumped 300 points so obviously this aio is doing a good job of managing it it just it got to a hot spot and then stuck at it and it's been running now for three minutes so i don't expect it i think it'll probably end up averaging out around 84. Look at that, dude, it's actually getting colder. It's actually now in the 84. Remember, we're sitting at 83, 84, now it's in 82. Okay, back into the 80s, but yeah, now it's jumping back into the 80. Yeah, now it's in the 82s. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Nasty Yoda, yeah, it is. It's a good case. You just got to be thoughtful about what you put inside of it. Guys, the temperature is going... Look, now it's in 80... Like, it's... Yeah. Yeah, the fans are loud. But again, the fans are loud when under load. Like, I don't know if they'll be like this when gaming... This is basically load testing. Okay, so let's just do one. Let's say stop. This is obviously fine. Okay, so let's just pop in a game. Let's just check. Let's just put a game in and just see what this does under load. So let's load MSI Afterburner. Oh, shoot. None of it's in here. Uh. Showing on this here, O'Brien, graph name. Let's just make sure that the, no, it's VP2. Oh, no, it's here. Okay, GP2 usage. Okay. GP2 memory usage. GP2 core clock, GP2 memory clock. Uh, I love that. GP2 power. GP2 fan speed, GP2 temp limit, GP2 power limit. Okay, CPU temperature. Shown on the screen display. 
HTTP usage. Hello? Hey, dinner. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Bye. CPU clock, CPU power. This is the last test, guys. Frame rate, average, frame rate, and frame time. Okay, fly. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's run. We're just gonna check. We're gonna start with Cyberpunk 2077. This will be the best one to test, just to see what temps and stuff are like. I don't actually know what's for dinner. Okay. We're gonna run this really quick. Just to see what to run a benchmark because this will tell us what how loud if what this is going to run like when it's when it's gaming Okay, so we're gonna settings, graphics are on ultra. We have DLSS, we're gonna, we're gonna run, DLSS is on balance because it's 1440p, lock full screen, run a benchmark. The 6800 XT is better than a 4060 Ti. Okay guys, so here it is. I'm sitting right next to it when gaming. And there's very little fan noise. Uh, 1440p so not temp not it's like mid UCBU usage right now yeah this is 1440p ray tracing uh, this does have DLSS on balanced not soup does not have frame generation on So yeah, Cyberpunk, completely playable, no problem. Okay, let's do one more, then I gotta be done. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go guys, sorry. My wife, is, uh, my wife is ready for me to come home. I gotta go. Anyway, guys, that is it for tonight's stream. I super appreciate it. Uh, sorry that I switched the CPU randomly, but all in all, very impressive. If you want to see more about how this performs and all that sort of stuff, head on over to uh, the watch the CH510 deep cool video. It'll show you performance with uh, other games and all that sort of stuff as well. Anyway, uh, we are back on Thursday checking out the Alienware M16. That's going to be happening Thursday. And then we have a deep, cool Arctic build on sa Sunday. And then we have Mod Workshop on Friday. So still a lot of streams coming up. Super appreciate you guys being here. Congratulations to all the winners. And we will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, guys.
That system is pretty cool. I gotta stop and I'll do I gotta get back. Brenda's waiting for me for dinner. Yeah, so this is the whole thing right here. That's all it takes.